Hello, you lovely lot, and welcome to Expert Zone and our how to series, where we're going to show you how to do things with Microsoft products. This time on a MacBook. I was confused too. I'll, I'll, I'll get to, to this bit. Roll the titles. Yes, I said Microsoft products and MacBook in the same sentence, which can only mean one thing, Microsoft 365, which is available on Mac OS. So with this being a how-to video, how do you get Microsoft 365 on Mac OS devices? There are several different ways in which we can set up and install Microsoft 365 on a Mac OS device depending on where you are in your Microsoft 365 journey. So we split the video up into multiple different sections, so you can just go to the section that you want, get the information you need, rather than having to watch the whole thing. So section one is gonna be around if you already have a Microsoft 365 account active, be that a family or a personal subscription attributed to a Microsoft account. Section two is around pre-purchased. Maybe you bought a card at point of purchase or have recently purchased a digital download code for Microsoft 365 and don't quite know how to set it up. We can help with that in section two. Section three is around if you don't have a Microsoft 365 account at all and don't quite know where to get started. We'll be able to help you out and get you on the track to get Microsoft 365 in section three. All the information is in the description below so you can find and jump to the correct section for you. And um, I'll see you there. Yep, yep, I'll, I'll, I'll see you there. Section one, active Microsoft 365. If you have a Microsoft 365 account already, the easiest way to get started is to head to the App Store, search for Microsoft 365 and download the bundle of apps. You may need to log into your Apple ID as part of the process. Once all of these are downloaded, they will appear in your launch pad. Open one of the apps. We've gone with Word, and then you'll be faced with this option. Choose already have a subscription, sign in. Sign in to the Microsoft account with the active Microsoft 365 license, and that's it. Start using the app. You can even jump into another app and it will know you've signed into a Microsoft account with Microsoft 365 and it'll just let you in. Yay! Section two, pre-purchased. If you have a pre-purchased card or a digital download code, then open up your favorite internet browser and go to setup.office.com. Once here, sign in to the Microsoft account you want the license attributed to. If you don't have a Microsoft account, now is the time to get one, as you kind of need one. So click the create one hyperlink and join the family. Once you're signed in, enter the 25 digit product code that will either be under the silver strip on the back of your card or you should have received as part of your online digital purchase. Check it's the license that you purchased and then select the region you are living in. Once you're happy, hit next. Your Microsoft 365 license is now active. From this page, you can find out more about what you can do with your account, like how to share with others, if, like us, you have gone with a Microsoft 365 family license. Next up, you want to download the apps themselves. 
If you prefer, you can download the apps from the App Store and just sign in. For a guide on this, look at section one. If you're committed to this section though, then hit this button and start the download from here. Depending on your internet speed, this might be a good time for a cup of tea and a biscuit. Once the installer is downloaded, open up the file. Hit continue and get your reading glasses on. If, if you need reading glasses, that is. Go through the license agreement, which you can either print off or save a copy for yourself for a later date. Once you are happy with it though, press continue. We like to make sure you are doubly happy with that license agreement and that you uh, understand what you're agreeing to. Um, so when you are doubly happy, hit agree. Next is where you would like your 9.8 gig of Microsoft 365 goodies to be installed. I would just go with your Macintosh HD unless you had other plans. When you're all good, press install. Yeah, just go let it do its thing now. Anyone for another cup of tea? Once the installation is complete, you can close the installer down and choose if you want to bin the installer or keep it. Microsoft Auto Update may then pop up and do a check for any updates. This is great as these updates will give you any upgrades or improvements to the Microsoft 365 apps and it's part of the Microsoft 365 service to make sure your experience is as good as possible. If you don't want these auto updates though, untick this box. Next, head to one of the premium Office apps and open it. We've gone with Word. You will then be given the information around the privacy settings of the apps. Once you're happy, press Next. Now you have the choice of if you want to send optional diagnostic data to Microsoft to help continue the improvement of the services. Make your selection and click Accept. You can now open up a new document in your chosen app. Finally, click the activate button top right to sign into your Microsoft account that you attributed your Microsoft 365 license to earlier, and you're done. Section three, getting started with Microsoft 365. If you don't have Microsoft 365 set up yet, don't worry, we can help you out. The first thing to do is to head into the App Store, search for and download the Microsoft 365 App Group. This will download the different Microsoft apps in one big go for you. Once these are downloaded, head to your launchpad and open up one of your premium Office apps. We've gone with Word. You are then given a choice. Go with Premium Apps and you will then be given the options of which Microsoft 365 subscription you want. Microsoft 365 Personal is a one user license that will give you access to the Premium Office apps, one terabyte OneDrive cloud storage and can be used on up to five devices. Microsoft 365 Family gives you the same Premium Office apps and OneDrive cloud storage but this time it can be shared with up to six people in total. Once you have chosen your preferred license, hit sign in to purchase. Sign in to the Microsoft account you want the license attributed to. If you don't have a Microsoft account yet, hit the create one hyperlink. Confirm which license you want to go with and select start one month free trial. Ooh, cheeky bonus. Check through the subscription terms and that you are happy with them and then hit continue. This pop-up lets you know that you can cancel your subscription at any time, provided it is at least one day before the renewal date. Next up is the payment information. If you have payment details already linked to your Apple ID, the payment will be taken from that account. If not, set up the payment method that you want within your Apple ID and follow the rest of the instructions. Your Microsoft 365 license should now be active. You now have Microsoft 365 uh, to use as you please. 
And there we go. You should now have your Microsoft 365 license up and running. So you can have access to the likes of the premium Office apps, a terabyte of online cloud storage with Microsoft OneDrive, and can be used on up to five different devices. Sorted. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, please drop a like down below and a comment letting us know which section you found helpful. If you want more from us here at Expert Zone UK and I, then please subscribe down below for more how-tos, unboxings, or overview videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll uh, see you later on.